everyone welcome back to my channel it's becca from at home in the sun and today we're going to be doing a cash stuffing for our last paycheck in march if you're new welcome my name is becca and i live in south florida with my husband and three kids and we do use the cash envelope budgeting method to help us get out of debt more quickly and to be more intentional with our money so with this method we give every dollar a job so that's what we're going to be doing today so let's go ahead and count and see how much money we're going to be working with So we have one, two, three hundred, four hundred, four fifty, four seventy, four ninety, five ten, five thirty, five fifty, five seventy, five ninety, six ten, six thirty, six fifty, six seventy, six ninety, seven ten, seven thirty, seven fifty, seven sixty, seven seventy, seven eighty, seven ninety, eight hundred, eight ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is 870, I think that's what I counted, $870. So that's what we're gonna be cash stuffing today. Let's get all of this set up. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I am doing a lot better. Um, in my last video, I talked about how I wasn't feeling very good. I was having a bad couple of weeks with my health, but thankfully this last week has been a lot better. So I am very, very thankful for that. Um, thankful for the help that I do have. Um, I know everybody has struggles, but um, like one of our family friends was taken to the hospital last night with chest pain and this morning she went into open heart surgery. So it's like, I have nothing to complain about, you know what I mean? It's like I need to be um, thankful for the help that I do have. All right, so my husband and I have been talking about like it's kind of time to do like a little bit of an overhaul with our budget. Um, we're gonna be sitting down together really soon and going over everything in our budget, um, deciding what we wanna change, what we wanna tweak, what we wanna leave the same. So that's gonna be happening very soon, probably within the next month. So this binder is high priority funds. Now with this paycheck, I did end up leaving some of these things in the bank. I usually pull them out, but this time I did leave groceries in the bank so I did not pull anything out for that. So we're not gonna be cash stuffing that. Everything stayed in the bank. Kids is gonna be getting $30. Actually, I'm gonna be doing this with ones. I remember now. So I'm gonna be using my 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I don't normally pull ones out of the bank. However, um, I did tell my daughter that she has earned an allowance now. She's been trying really hard over the last few weeks and months to earn an allowance by showing us that she can do what we ask her to do. So she's super excited because today she does get her first allowance and I'm gonna be pulling it um, from those ones that I just put in there. That's why I pulled the ones out. So she is so, so excited. And my boys who are younger than her, they're um, not so excited because they haven't earned their allowances yet. They still got some work to do. Um, pets, we're gonna be adding $25 to pets. So let's see where we are with this fund. So we have 50, 70, 80, 90, and 95 dollars in pets. We're doing pretty good on this one. Vet visits, we're gonna be adding 20 dollars to this fund. All right, so we do have some money in the bank. That's what these placeholders represent. We have $300 in the bank in this fund. So 300, 350, 370, and 375. Um, my dog is going to the vet next month for like just an exam, no shots, just an exam. Let's see how she's doing. Um, Amazon money, I did not end up pulling this out. I just left it in the bank with this paycheck. Supplements, let's add $30 to supplements. I actually just had to buy a supplement this morning. Health, we're gonna be adding $20 to this. And beauty is gonna be getting 10. I think I'm gonna end up moving my beauty envelope to my self-care binder. And I think I'm gonna be splitting this into makeup and skincare. So that's gonna be happening soon when we go over our budget and redo things. Food for us, we're gonna be adding $20 to this one. We still have 20 in there. So we are at $40 in food forest. And with that, this binder is done. 
All right, so moving on to my Disbound Binder, and this one is also High Priority Funds. All right, my daughter's piano lessons. So we're gonna be stuffing 70 into this. 50, 60, 70. I still have money in here from March. Um, I'm gonna have to email them because they never sent our March invoice. So this money is for March and also saving for April. So 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, and 280 in piano. Um, home care is going to be getting $50. This one is empty. And car care, we're gonna be adding 100 to this. We just had to spend $800 out of car care and thankfully we had the money. Um, I had to get my brakes done on my car. So I wanted to add 100 this paycheck so we can work on building this back up a little bit. All right, so we have $150 in the bank. So we have 100, 200, 300, that's a $50 placeholder. So $350 so far in car care. Trying to get this built back up to 1,000. Um, car tags, we're gonna give this one $5. So we have 50, 70, and $80 in car tags. Life insurance, we're gonna give this one $5. So we have 10 and life insurance working on our next premium, which is due in about six months. Lot tax is property taxes for a second lot that we own. So lot tax is gonna be getting 40. So we have $100 in the bank, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 240, 250, 260, 270, and 280. $280 in lot tax. For our yearly subscriptions, this is an all digital fund and I do just keep track of it with my tracker. We did add some money to it. Where's my pen? There it is. So with this paycheck, we did add $20. So I'm gonna put plus 20. Today I believe is the 29th. And so we are at $193.20 in our yearly subscriptions fund. So that covers like Amazon Prime. Um, I think one of our grocery delivery services, I can't remember everything that it covers, but just yearly ones, not monthly ones. And for our debt check-in, we did not make a payment on our debt. So we are not going to fill out our tracker in that card. Okay, this binder is done. So we're gonna be moving on to low priority funds now. Okay, so travel, we're gonna be adding 100. I need to add as much as possible to this one so we can end up traveling this summer. Um, we don't have a lot of time left to save, but I do wanna travel to see my family. So 100, 200, 300, 350, 360, 370, and 375 saved so far in travel. Thanksgiving, this one is going to get $5. So we have 10, 20, and $30 in Thanksgiving. And gifts, we're gonna be adding $10 to this. All right, so we have $110 in gifts. So this is, this is looking healthy. I'm happy with how that one looks. And special events is gonna be getting 10. I think I want to break special events up. We have 160. I'm thinking of breaking it up into maybe like birthdays and Mother's Day, Father's Day, and I don't know, I'm not sure, but I think I wanna break this one up into like more specific categories. All right, we are all done with this one. Moving on, let's see, do we have anything for self-care? We do. Okay, we do have a little bit of money to put in our self-care binder. I'm gonna be adding some more um, envelopes to this. Like I said, I'm moving my beauty envelope to self-care and splitting it into makeup and skincare. All right, you and me is gonna be getting 20. This is my husband and I, like either anniversary or date night. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and $70 going into you and me. Massage is gonna be getting $5. So we have 20, 40, 60, 85. 
and a massage. That is technically enough for like an hour massage, but not enough for a tip. So I gotta consider the tip in there too. Um, spa day is gonna get five. This is for any service at the spa. So 20, 30, and $35 in spa day. I guess that could technically cover the tip, right? Like I could pull some money from that to cover the massage tip if I really wanted to do that. All right, so a little bit of money going into that one. And then lastly, we're gonna be stuffing some money into my homeschool binder. All right. So if you guys don't homeschool in Florida, which probably most of you don't, um, you don't know that we actually have access to homeschool scholarships. Um, and that is a brand new thing. It just happened this past school year. So thankfully all three of my kids get a homeschool scholarship and it's not funded by tax money. Um, I believe it's funded by private donors. Um, so that's been a huge blessing for us. And um, I've been able to get a lot more supplies, even you know, cover some of our curriculum and things like that. It's paid for a lot of things. So I don't stuff a ton of money into homeschool because we are very, very blessed to have had that scholarship this past year. And this morning I spent hours, several hours, um, buying the school supplies and stuff that we needed for next school year. Um, so it's been a really, really big blessing. So we're not stuffing any money into curriculum. I think we have everything we need for next year. Co-op, I'm gonna be stuffing $10. My kids do attend a co-op. So we have $20 in co-op. Supplies, also not getting anything. I was able to get all of that with the scholarship money. Um, streaming, we're gonna add $20 to streaming. This is streaming hours for some educational videos that they do. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, and $85 in streaming. And for homeschool subscriptions, um, we're gonna be adding $20 to this one. So we do have 150 in the bank. So 150, 170, 180, 190 and $195 in homeschool subscriptions. And for evaluations, we are gonna skip that one. That one is fine. And for field trips, um, we're gonna be adding $50. And I am so excited. We're gonna be going on another field trip soon. Probably in April. Really, really excited about that. So we have $100 in the bank, 100, 200, and 250 and 260. So $260 in field trips. And yes, we are gonna be spending that money on our next field trip. It's kind of a pricey field trip, but it's one that we take every year and we really, really love it. It's a lot of fun. All right, so homeschool is done. Let's see how much money that we have left. All of this money is gonna to go towards savings. So 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180, and $190. All right, so we have 190 going towards our savings challenges. I might be able to scrape a few more dollars together for my next video. So my next video, we will be stuffing all of this into my savings challenges. I hope you guys will subscribe if you liked what you saw today, and I hope you have a great week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.